What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. You only have until December 20th to check out the World Press Photo Exposition here in the CCCB in Barcelona. So in this video, I'm going in with a special press entrance pass to tell you what's going on on the inside and tell you the five photos that you need to see when you come and visit. So let's get it. The Center of Contemporary Culture of Barcelona is hosting the World Press Photo 2020 Exposition for a limited time, and thanks to Photographic Social Vision, it's your chance to see some of the best photos in the world up close and personal. For the 63rd edition, 44 winners were announced for the best photos from 2019 after over 4,000 photographers submitted almost 74,000 images in the running for Photo of the Year and Photo Story of the Year. The photos were judged based on their quality and ability to tell a story while being divided amongst four main categories. Climate change, citizen protests, hate, and gender inequality. There were also eight other categories with prizes awarded as well. You'll also find a digital narrative contest inside that awarded more video and visual art winners from three different categories. Interactive videos and videos of long and short duration. You can watch the trailers in the expo, but one thing that I thought was really cool were the QR codes that take you directly to YouTube where you can see the entirety of some of the films. Not many cities will have the honor of hosting the exposition this year, and it's only available until December 20th. So if you want, take advantage while you can. Entrance is just six euros. This year, and for the first time ever, there is the possibility of attending a virtual experience from the comfort of your home. I'll leave a link below in the description. One of the things that I really liked about the exhibit is that all of the news today is surrounding COVID and rightfully so, but there are other things going on. And this exhibit kind of gave us a chance to rehash and kind of recap some of those things that happened in the past and that are even still going on today and really take a look into them. So that being said, if you're going over to the exhibit, which I hope you do, what are the five photos that you need to see while you're there? There's no big surprise here. The number one image that you need to see is the winner of the photo of the year, and it's called Straight Voice by Japanese photographer Yasuyoshi Chiba. And it tells the story of the Sudan and its fight for democracy at the end of the dictatorship of Omar al-Bashir. There's a military government that takes over in April, and they tried to quiet the voices of the people by turning off the internet and limiting that communication. The people basically had to speak through text and word of mouth. This winning image is of a young boy reciting a poem while being illuminated by cell phones. It's clear that the people would be heard. Fortunately, that democratic movement was able to win and they reached an agreement with the government in August. Obviously, it's got a prominent spot, so you can't miss it. Hong Kong Unrest by Nicholas Asfori actually got second place in the Photo Story of the Year Award. You should definitely check out the first one while you're there, but I've thought that this connected a little bit more with the current situation here, the obvious parallels with the Catalan situation. One of the things that really struck me was that it was something that we heard a lot in the news last year. So checking out this photo or series of photos is something I definitely think you should do. Number three here is a little bit of a cheat because it's really three photos by three different photographers all in one, but it's pretty cool to see three Spaniards in the list of winners, all who got third place in their respective fields, and two of them are from Barcelona. Garcia won for his photo of the Tishrin revolution in Iraq, while Espinosa won for his picture of Dorian's devastation in the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian. Seville photographer Pizarro won in the nature category for his photo of two Iberian lynx, the most endangered cat species in the world. Now, I was a little torn here with two photos that had to do with the states, but I'm going to go with Alejandro Prieto's roadrunner approaching the border wall over one for the California wildfire. Now, don't get me wrong, the California wildfire picture is absolutely incredible and you definitely will see it while you're there. But I think with the recent presidential elections, I thought the border walls was a bit more at the moment. One of the things that really surprised me was the number of mentions to Trump in some of the photographs. And while the California picture mentioned him as well, it's going to be more interesting to see the changes under Biden, especially dealing with immigration. Last but not least, how could I not go with Kawhi Leonard's Game 7 game-winning buzzer beater in the Eastern Conference Finals over the Philadelphia 76ers to win the championship for the first time in the Raptors' 25-year history? I was really surprised to see this photo here, but I was super excited once I saw it because I remember watching this replay over and over again when it happened. And Mike Blinch catches this in the perfect moment right when the ball is going in after it's already hit off the rim four separate times and you can see that the Raptors know they're moving on and the Sixers know they're done. Those are the five photos that most caught my attention during my visit, but I'll give everybody one more bonus photo just so you don't miss out on it while you're there because during all of our months of lockdown, one show took the world by storm. 
Tiger King's Doc Antle is in one of the photographs. Make sure you don't miss it. While we can't travel, we can still see the world through a lot of these photographs. So remember that the exhibition is only open here in Barcelona until December 20th. So you have just over a month to get over there. And if you can't make it, you always have the option to make the virtual experience online. Either way, once you check out the photos, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite was to see. And if you haven't done so already, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel so you know of other things that you can do here in Barcelona. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.